many of us, light is as easy as flicking a switch. But in developing countries, many are left in the dark once the sun goes down. Enter one Filipino social entrepreneur who's figured out a way to bring bright to darkness. From Manila, here's The Wall Street Journal's Jason Strother. This is Dampalit, a lakeside village in Metro Manila that is totally off the electric grid. Every day with the setting sun, families here were left in pitch black darkness. Until this, solar panels attached to a battery inside of plastic water bottles. A simple solution. Ilak Diaz is founder of Leader of Light, a program that aims to cheaply light the night for the masses. Right now, 20 million Filipinos are suffering from energy poverty. They have absolutely no access to electricity. Working under the light in her snack shop, Leanne Lara says the bulbs have changed her life. It's much brighter now. People used to need flashlights to walk home, and kids can play at night now. It's simple tech behind these solar bulbs. Natural light filters through a plastic bottle filled with water and bleach. The water refracts the sun's rays. The bleach prevents mold from growing. And when it's dark, a sensor flicks on the LED bulb, 10 hours of light before it needs a recharge. But it's more than about brightening up homes, Diaz says. Leader of Light is a social movement for simple jobs and self-reliance. It is to use local parts, it's to use local labor and know-how, and if it breaks, you have people that have simple skills like cell phone repairmen coming up with jobs for repairing, installing, and that is how we built this kind of solar light economy. Since Leader of Light launched, it's partnered up with schools like this that train students for energy sector jobs and a women's prison that gives them skills for when they're out. Solar bulbs here are headed to the city of Tacloban, devastated by Typhoon Haiyan last year. Many of the displaced residents use the bulbs while living in temporary shelters. Looking to help his country's and people's future, Diaz says climate change, rising power prices and poor infrastructure will make new energy solutions even more important. You're talking in maybe three years, uh, having not enough electricity to even supply the demand. What we're saying is, how do we attack this in a very, you know, out of the box or out of the bottle way? With thinking like this, solar technology from Leader of Light is a secret that won't stay bottled up very long.